11 at 11, a branch of the Cincinnati Symphony Orchestra may have won over a committee on its riverfront concert venue plan, but the group still has a lot of convincing to do. The Joint Bank's steering committee chose CSO's $19 million proposal over two other big concert promoters. Nine on your side's Ashley Zilka joins us live with brand new reaction. Ashley. <laughs> Yeah, Tanya, the Cincinnati Symphony Orchestra won this first round of competition, but keep in mind, this is just a recommendation. The city and county will have the final say on who gets to build a venue here at the banks. I want to look at all of the, all of the different uh, options that we have. I definitely want to hear from the public. I want to hear what they think about it. Um, and then just represent them. I do have a couple criteria that I would like to see covered, which is the inside outside venue and no public su subsidy. The three proposals for a concert venue at the banks are now in the hands of Hamilton County Commissioners and City Council members. The Joint Bank Steering Committee has made its recommendation. The group voted Wednesday for the CSO to build the venue. I think the symphony's proposal has evolved and we have allowed it to evolve in the sense that it, it was originally portrayed to us as an indoor venue. I mean, that's what it was. The other two proposals, Live Nations, the Pittsburgh group is looking for 36 million taxpayer dollars. Then there's Promo West out of Columbus. We do this for a living and we do it very successfully and we, and we make money at it. We don't need subsidies and we make money at what we do. The CSO's plan would seat 4,000 people indoors and double that outside. The group has promised to construct an indoor facility and manage concerts at a temporary stage set up on city-funded parkland. They know the region, you know, they have they run Riverbend and they're very familiar with uh, what goes on here in Cincinnati, Hamilton County. We will take the recommendation and do our work and, um, you know, make a decision. And both the city and county say they hope to start this process as soon as possible. Leaders I spoke to say they are open to several options. Reporting live tonight, Ashley Zilka, 9 on your side.